Did you know you can become a citizen of a Caribbean nation through property investment? This initiative, known as the Citizenship by Investment Program, or CBI, allows individuals to obtain citizenship by purchasing real estate. In this video, we'll explore the requirements of various Caribbean countries' CBI programs and highlight the most budget-friendly properties available in each location. Several Caribbean nations offer citizenship through investment programs, enabling individuals to secure a passport with visa-free access to numerous countries, tax benefits for businesses, and a secure haven in a tropical climate by investing in real estate valued at $200,000 US or more. Beyond citizenship, potential investors should consider additional criteria when delving into Caribbean real estate investments. Let's explore some of the available options. So how do you go about attaining citizenship in a Caribbean country? Investing in real estate for $200,000 US or more in a Caribbean nation with a CBI program facilitates the acquisition of citizenship for investors and their families. Caribbean citizenship offers various advantages, including visa-free travel to over 100 countries. Additionally, Caribbean countries impose no capital gains taxes, allowing businesses to significantly reduce their tax burdens. Companies operating outside the Caribbean enjoy tax exemptions on global income. The purchased Caribbean property can also be utilized for profit. With an estimated annual rental yield and a property price growth of around 3 to 5 percent, investors can rent out the property profitably and potentially resell it after several years, as most CBI programs permit. St. Kitts and Nevis St. Kitts and Nevis's Citizenship by Investment program was the first in the world. It has been in place since 1984. The country has two options for real estate investors. You can either buy a share in a government-approved property for 400,000 US or more. It can either be a luxury hotel or a resort. Or also, you can invest at least 800,000 in a private dwelling designated as an approved private home. An investor can sell a property in seven years. The investor also earns a profit of 5% per year from leasing the property. In St. Kitts and Nevis, investors can buy property for long-term personal use. Other Caribbean CBI programs usually require renting out investment property to generate profit for the country. A three-bedroom apartment in St. Kitts and Nevis costs approximately $4,300 a month. This is the highest price among the Caribbean countries with CBI programs. St. Kitts and Nevis also has a higher annual rental yield than Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, Dominica, or St. Lucia, about 4 to 5 percent. Real estate prices in St. Kitts and Nevis grow on average by 4 to 5 percent per year. Oceanfront villas in St. Kitts and Nevis cost from $350,000. The price per square meter for such objects is from $190,000. Less expensive real estate is for sale, starting at $5,000 per square meter. So, what are the benefits of living in St. Kitts and Nevis? St. Kitts and Nevis is known for its medical schools, for example, the University of Medicine and Health Sciences. Graduates from St. Kitts and Nevis are eligible for scholarships offered by universities in the UK. Healthcare in St. Kitts and Nevis is free of charge for those under 18 and over 62. St. Kitts and Nevis citizenship can also be inherited. A minor child of a country citizen can be granted citizenship by registration. Renting a property for a family of four would cost about $3,000 a month. Prices per month for apartments in the city center of St. Kitts and Nevis start at $700. Antigua and Barbuda 
Buying property in Antigua and Barbuda is a path to obtaining the country's citizenship. This is a significant benefit for investors who plan not to only travel, but also to live in the country. Property can also be rented out to make a profit. Antigua and Barbuda allows that. The approximate annual rental yield in the country is 4%, which is only 1% less than in Dominica and St. Kitts and Nevis. The property prices in Antigua and Barbuda grow by 3 to 5% per year. The property can be profitably sold in five years after obtaining citizenship or rented out. The average cost of renting a three-bedroom apartment in Antigua and Barbuda starts at $4,000. Along with St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda has the highest monthly price for a rented property. To obtain citizenship, investors buy property for $200,000 or more. The average price for a government-approved object in Antigua and Barbuda starts at $250,000. Prices per square meter range from $5,000 to $8,000 and depend on the type of property. Small villas with a bedroom or two cost up to $2 million. Oceanfront large apartments cost from $1 million up. An investor is not obliged to buy the entire object. They can buy a share, for example, in hotel complexes. Antigua and Barbuda restricts the types of real estate that can be bought under the citizenship program. The object must be government approved. The property can be sold in five years. However, each object can only be sold twice before it is excluded from the CBI program. So what are the benefits of living in Antigua and Barbuda? The country is developing fast, and investors willing to obtain second citizenship and tourists contribute to the country's economy. Education in Antigua and Barbuda is free for those under 16, and there are both public and private schools. Getting an international degree is also possible. The American University of Antigua has agreements with the Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine located in Florida and the Warwick School of Medicine. They also allow students from Antigua and Barbuda to study in the USA and the UK. Healthcare in Antigua and Barbuda is on an international level. The medical benefit scheme, available for legal residents of the country, allows citizens to seek primary medical treatment for free. A family of four's estimated monthly cost is $4,100 without rent. A single person spends approximately $1,000 a month in Antigua and Barbuda. Grenada Grenada is considered to be one of the safest Caribbean countries. It is a perfect place to relocate with a family and enjoy white sand beaches. Grenada offers a CBI program. One of the options is to buy real estate for $220,000 or more. The investment can be returned in five years. In the meantime, an investor can rent the object out. The annual rental yield in Grenada is 4.3%. Grenada does not require investors to visit the country to invest in real estate. The procedure is remote. You can choose a property online and a licensed agent will help you to buy it. Renting out property in Grenada is less profitable than in other Caribbean countries except Dominica. The monthly price for a three-bedroom apartment in Grenada is about $3,000. The price of Grenadian property that qualifies for citizenship by investment program ranges from $3,000 to $5,000 per square meter. An investor can buy an object or a share in a complex from $220,000. So what are the benefits of living in Grenada? Grenada is home to one of the most internationally recognized medical schools, St. George's University. The school's graduates can work in the USA. 94% of them got U.S. residency over the last three years. The healthcare system of Grenada is one of the best among the Caribbean countries. The island is small, but there are five public and four private hospitals in Grenada. No household is left without a medical facility nearby. Grenada is an affordable country. The monthly rent for a two-bedroom apartment in the city center starts at $600. Dominica Dominica is called the Pearl of the Caribbean. If you want to admire the sea view from your family villa, 
consider participating in a Dominica Citizenship by Investment program. Dominica has one of the most affordable CBI programs. Investors purchase real estate for $200,000 or more. Property can be rented out after purchase or sold in three years after obtaining citizenship. This is two years earlier than in other Caribbean countries. The real estate prices in Dominica grow by 4-5% to annually. Dominica has the lowest to rent prices in the Caribbean, about $2,300 a month for a three-bedroom apartment. The prices for a property that is approved for citizenship by investment program start at $3,000 per square meter. As in Antigua and Barbuda and St. Kitts and Nevis, in Dominica it is allowed to purchase resale real estate. So what are the benefits of living in Dominica? Dominica is a perfect place to enjoy a hassle-free evening with a bottle of wine. Investors and tourists choose Dominica because of its lush nature and spectacular sea view. Dominica has more than 60 schools, both private and public. Pursuing higher education is possible. There's a branch of the University of the West Indies and a medical school at the All Saints University of Canada. Nationals of Dominica often study in the UK as part of the agreement between the Commonwealth nations. There is no public health care in Dominica. For qualified treatment, Dominican citizens travel to other Caribbean islands. A family of four is a monthly cost in Dominica are 3000 plus rent. A single person spends about $1,000 a month plus rent. Prices for renting property in Dominica start at $600. St. Lucia To obtain St. Lucia citizenship by investment in real estate, you can purchase property from $200,000. The investment can be returned in four years. However, a non-refundable state fee of $30,000 is also paid. The tourist market in St. Lucia is well developed due to the island's affordability. The country is visited by more than 1 million tourists per year, so investment property can be easily used for a lease. The rental yield is about 3-5% to per year. St. Lucia has the lowest monthly rent price, about $2,300, for a three-bedroom apartment. Apartments with one or two bedrooms usually cost from $400,000. Villas by the seashore cost from $3 million. So what are the benefits of living in St. Lucia? Many of the medical schools in St. Lucia cooperate with international clinics in the USA and other neighboring countries. There is no public health care in St. Lucia but the country has a national health scheme for legal residents. It does not equal public health care and only covers some of the possible health risks. St. Lucia offers an affordable lifestyle. A single person spends from $400 a month without rent. A family of four would expect to spend from $1,000 in St. Lucia. Bahamas Investing in a stable real estate market in the Bahamas can be profitable. About 9 million people visit the Bahamas every year as tourists. Investors can buy rental property and make a profit of about 8% per year. The Bahamas are famous for logs of property that is appealing to high net worth individuals. The Bahamas are also a tax haven, but there is a real property tax. The percentage depends on the property value. The average prices for real estate in the Bahamas start at $3 million and depend on the region. For example, one of the most affordable islands, Grand Bahama, offers properties starting at $300,000. Demand usually influences real estate prices in the Bahamas. Oceanfront property with access to beaches is sought after by investors and the tourists. So what are the benefits of living in the Bahamas? The Bahamas is an inviting destination, not only for tourists but also for students. There are nine universities to choose from. Among them are the University of the Bahamas, the Bahamas Institute of Business and Technology, and the Institute of Business and Commerce. The Bahamas are expensive to live in. On average, prices there are about 30% higher than in the U.S., excluding rent. Pregnant women, children, and the elderly can benefit from free primary health care in the Bahamas. Cayman Islands As an international tax haven, the Cayman Islands have a stable economy. The destination seems to be as popular as the Bahamas for the same reasons, pleasant climate and luxury resort property. The annual rental yield in the Cayman Islands is up to 
the islands of profitable rental returns. The prices for a two-bedroom apartment in the Cayman Islands start at $400,000. The average price for a condominium starts at $3 million and it depends on demand and how far the condo is from beaches. So what are the benefits of living in the Cayman Islands? The only public university in the Cayman Islands is the University College of the Cayman Islands. There are also schools affiliated with international universities, for example, Truman Bodden Law School. Healthcare in the Cayman Islands is on an international level. There are two private hospitals, the Cayman Islands Hospital and Faith Hospital. The Cayman Islands residents enjoy a luxurious lifestyle. A family of four spends no less than $5,000 a month without rent. So what are the most expensive places to buy property? The most expensive property is in Jamaica and Barbados. Prices for real estate there starts at 2000 per square meter. And since the property there is in demand among wealthy tourists, it can be a profitable investment. Jamaica and Barbados do not offer CBI programs. Foreign buyers of property in Barbados acquire permission to do so. Jamaica does not have any restrictions on foreign property buyers. The Dominican Republic is another option. The prices there are lower, but the country is as popular as Jamaica and Barbados. The average price for a two-bedroom apartment starts at $100,000. So now, let's take a look at the average prices per square meter in the Caribbean countries. The Cayman Islands, $9,000. Antigua and Barbuda, $5,600. The Bahamas, $5,000. Barbados $4,500, St. Kitts and Nevis $3,500, Dominica $3,000, Jamaica $2,300, Grenada $2,000, St. Lucia $1,900, the Dominican Republic $1,400. So what are the cheapest Caribbean countries to buy land? The cheapest Caribbean islands to buy property are probably St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Dominican Republic. The average price for a square meter there starts from $1,100. Despite being affordable though, cheaper property might not be as beneficial as property that qualifies for citizenship by investment programs. Thank you for watching this video on Caribbean citizenship by investment programs. If you found this information valuable, please consider subscribing for more content. Don't forget to hit the like button and share with anyone interested in exploring the possibilities of obtaining citizenship in the Caribbean. Stay tuned for our next video and feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching.